Hi Leo, welcome to your general love reading for November 2021. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Leo. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. All right, let's see. Leo, what is going on for you in November? Do keep in mind the roles can be reversed for general readings. All right, and we have numbing. All right. Okay, so numbing usually indicates that there is some kind of a pain that we are trying to cover up or distract ourselves from, okay? So this could be you or it could be another person you are involved with. So let's see. I do accidentally have the High Priestess from another deck in this deck, okay? So... Hmm, it could be that somebody is keeping quiet here. Let's see. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of November. All right, so let's see. For the situation, okay, Sun in reverse crossed by the Hierophant, all right? For you, we have the Chariot in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse. For them, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Coming up for you, we have the Magician in reverse. For them, the Page of Pentacles in reverse and potential outcome here, we have the Empress. Okay. Leo, okay, keeping in mind that the roles can definitely be reversed. Um, it feels like... Somebody's not really happy here, okay? Somebody is... I feel like they're depriving their own self from happiness. And the reason why, it could be two things, all right? It could be um, some kind of a commitment all right, whether it be either a marriage or like a work situation, but whatever it is, it's something really big, okay? Um, or it could be um, societal's expectations, society's expectations, societal rules, conditioning, that kind of a thing, tradition, anything along those lines that somebody is like very rigidly adhering to certain rules, which is actually keeping them away from their own happiness, okay? It could be you, could be them. Um, we will see. Something here, though, is going on with you. Having all three cards in reverse, and I feel like it's more of, like, a little bit of a precaution here, okay? I feel like you, you're feeling like you don't really know where you're going, you might be trying to take a new path here. You might be trying to do something differently. We'll see, but you it feels like you don't really know exactly where you're headed or where this is leading you to. Um, and yeah, it's just coming across as you don't even know what's being manifested here. You, you don't even know what's, what's coming up for you. Um, for them, it does feel like they might be the ones who are actually numbing something out here, or at least trying to, okay? Because I, I see this person really being focused on work. But at the same time, I also feel like they, there is a part of them that wants to compromise. There is a part of them that wants to have some kind of a collaboration or some kind of a relationship with you. Something. We'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Um, I do see, though, with the Empress being in the potential outcome, I do feel like, you know... This is all about creativity, fertility, abundance, um, being in your power, and I do feel like this is actually the mutual energy between the two of you. So we're going to clarify. I see it as a potential here. All right, because this does talk about fertility. So it's like, you know, there's something here. There is something here that can actually be um, manifested, but we'll see. All right, so let's clarify the sun and the hierophant. Okay, so we have the four of wands and the nine of swords. Yeah, so there's definitely some kind of a commitment here, something that has been stable. And when I say stable, I mean like 
it's been there. It's been there for a long time or, you know, it's just something that this person has always based their um, ideas on or just something very long term, okay, that this person has been holding on to. And whatever that is, it's creating a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. It, this is definitely what is affecting their um, happiness here or better yet, their lack of happiness. Now, I know the sun is um, your sign. But I'm not necessarily seeing that as being you. I do, though, feel like you're not in your at your best right now either. Okay, just judging even by this. Um, so we also have Taurus energy here. So you being the Leo, okay, you might be dealing with a Taurus. We also have Cancer showing up here. And a lot of Earth, all right, for the other person here. So it could be any Earth sign or any sign, okay? Could be any sign, just calling out what I see. So let's clarify the chariot for your energy. And we have the devil. All right, Leo, what's going on here? There's some fear. There's some fear that you're holding on to when it comes to the direction that this connection is heading in or the direction that you are heading in. I feel like you don't really know what it is that you should be doing or where you should be going or what you should be expecting. And the message that I'm getting for you is just to release Release the expectations. You know, it's okay to not know where this is going. All right, let me see the King of Swords. All right, Three of Cups and the Queen of Swords. If you guys can, I don't know if you guys can hear that noise. It's actually my cat snoring. <laughs> and I think it's they're sleeping together so i'm not sure if it's oliver or manix but yeah that's that's a cat snoring all right so three of cups and queen of swords clarifying the king of swords in reverse to me this is coming in as a lot of um confusion but it's like you're trying to really make sense out of where again you're trying to make sense out of where where this is going and whether there's going to be a reconciliation mm -hmm. trying to make sense trying to gain clarity on you know whether you will ever be able to find um pleasure again or whether you will be able to um enjoy be able to enjoy either this connection or or just your life in general mm -hmm. and again the message that i'm getting here is that you know it, it it's coming in as just you thinking a little bit too much about it, like trying to rationalize a little bit too much. Like there is no rationalizing this. You, you, it's just something that can't be rationalized. You can't, there is no figuring out, okay, you know, what happened? What should happen? Um, am I going in the right direction? Does it mean this? Or, you know, does it mean that, you know, reading into little things and trying to make sense out of them? I feel like that's kind of keeping you a little bit stuck here. And it's creating more more fear because you might be thinking of all the possible scenarios. You know, and that is what is creating this magician in reverse here. It's like holding you back. It's keeping you from being able to manifest. And it's keeping you from being able to um, move a little bit quicker towards this Empress energy, which you are, right? That is the potential outcome. But that's, that's the key word here, okay? Potential, because it's really up to you. It's really up to you here. Um, let's see what's going on with this other person. All right, so we have the star and we have the page of pentacles showing up in reverse again. So it's interesting because even though I feel like this person might be numbing certain things out as well, um, I actually feel like you you might be doing a little bit of that as well, just a little bit, um, but in a different way, okay? For you, it's like you're numbing out the reality of things or you know the accurate perspective or just other parts of your life because because you're trying to rationalize too much, okay? And then for them, I feel it's more of 
occupying themselves with other things. But here's the thing, it's that this person, right, with the star being here, there's hope here. This person has hope that they can actually work with you or find some kind of an agreement or, you know, have some kind of a working relationship or something, you know, even if it's just friendship to start off with, I don't know, but they want to have some kind of a connection with you. So that hope is there, but I feel like they're not really giving much to that. It's like they're not really taking the steps. And I feel like that's because there's something here that they're not trusting. It's like there's a lack of trust, um, either for the connection or for their own self. Possibly a lack of self-worth. Let me see this Eight of Pentacles. All right, the Knight of Cups and the Lovers. Yeah, see, so this person does want this connection. Again, like they are feeling this, um, they're feeling this love, they're feeling this connection here. And I feel like, you know, they do focus on that. Um, the Lovers was actually kind of in reverse. I don't know which way it was going. So to me, that indicates that, yeah, you know, there is a little bit of numbing that out, but the energy is still there. It's, it's, it's very strong, actually. All right, the energy between you and this person and, you know, what it is that they that they feel. Um, so I don't know what it is here, what it, what other situation there is here that they're holding on to. I actually feel like, you know, even with this lovers, this is them um, not having made a decision when it comes to love. when it comes to where it is that they want to give their love, but there are some steps that they're taking. There are some steps that they're taking, but I feel like these steps, they're not, they're not being shown just yet, okay? That's why we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse and we have, have it again here. All right, they're, it's like they're working on it, but not physically taking those steps. All right, there's something here that still, they're not trusting, and it could even be that they, they're not really trusting in their own self or they don't trust a new path because of this hierophant that has been here for so long, whatever that is. That is cre but it's creating a lot of stress for them and that's why I feel like they're kind of being focused now on, okay, you know, where is it that I can be happy? So I actually want to clarify this page of pentacles in reverse that is coming up for them. All right, yeah, the Seven of Cups, that's definitely numbing. <laughs> um, because it's like confusion and it's like, you know, having some illusions here and I feel like the illusions are whatever it is that they're not trusting. And that's because they've been um, either conditioned or they just have some really strong beliefs that they've been holding on to. So yeah, I feel like, you know, coming up, this person is still kind of going to be holding back that pentacle, like not really giving it because... Because they're still working through these illusions, all right, of, of whatever it is that they've been holding on to, whether it be um, a commitment or just or just beliefs. However, they're, it's not like they're not doing anything, is what I'm trying to say here. All right, there is something that they are working on. I feel like they're just working on it um, silently, like from within. So let's see the Empress. We have Justice in Reverse and the High Priestess, all right, um, which I think, I think the High Priestess showed herself when I was shuffling, I think. I kind of remember her seeing, oh yeah, she was in the other deck, that's right. All right, so she's showing up again here. So yeah, I feel like there's this um, progress, all right, moving forward, things coming into some kind of an alignment, moving towards this potential, moving towards this possibility. Um, both of you kind of finding your own power, 
right, from within, but, like, separately from one another. And I feel like that's why we have justice in reverse, because there's still some balancing that needs to take place. And that's why we also have the high priestess, because I feel like things are happening separately, right? It's like there's some quietness, possibly, between the two of you. But ultimately, though, it is leading to each of you um, healing and working on your own selves, which then opens up that door to this Three of Pentacles, right? Which would be like a coming together and working together. <clears throat> so, yeah, that is it, Leo. So that is for the first half of November. Thank you so much for watching and much love.